Hi guys, once again we're uh, continuing with the uh, uh, restoring the Harleys. Uh, like we mentioned before, we have the 2006 and the 2013, uh, the Electro Electro Glide. Ultra Classic. Uh, Ultra Classic. 2006. And, That's uh, 2013 Electro Glide Classic. And today what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the uh, front fairing, we're gonna deassemble it and um, we'll go step by step. First you're gonna do the, but it's, as, as you can see it's actually, it's broken already so we're gonna just try to deassemble what's left over from the screws and all of this uh, torque, uh, I believe it's, uh, T27s um, should be three here, but there's two already broken, so we're gonna have to take this one out and uh, we'll see where we go. All right, we've got one here on the top. And for sure, if everything is fine, we're gonna be three not up here. One like one here, which is broken in our case. But there is one right here. Here, right. It's right here. Piece of paper inside. <laughs> uh, it looks have some uh, wire diagram, so I'm gonna keep it actually, just in case. And we have another wire diagram and uh, book of posties, uh, rider insurance, rider insurance. Yeah. So we're gonna keep these two wire diagrams just in case if they belong actually somewhere here. And uh, that's how you take the front fairing. And as you see, that's the front headlight is built in in it. Not built in, I mean, you can take it out. It's... Uh, so I think we're gonna have to get that screw. You just right? take that nickel, that chrome frame out by taking this screw. Once you take this out, you're gonna expose one, two, three, four, five other screws so you can actually disassemble, disassemble the headlight from the fairing. All right. The uh, outer fairing, uh, I'll show it to you when, when we did it to the other bike. But this one came without, actually it came with, but we took it, we took it out already. Um, so that's how it goes. We're gonna start taking all these harnesses, like all the zip ties. We're gonna just separate the harnesses. Oh man, there's a lot of zip tying here. We're gonna leave these because these are already connecting just the uh, radio stuff. And here is for the mic. I don't see any other major, like maybe this one. But our plan, we're gonna get actually uh, paint markers. And for example, like this, plug excuse me uh, this plug it's for some reason they mark it six or G I'm not sure but we're gonna mark the other one G or six the same symbol here same we're gonna mark both plugs with the same symbol here same symbol uh, and we're gonna keep going with all the plugs so when we're actually coming back and reinstall it 
we won't put honestly it's, it's I'm not sure if there is a one of those plugs uh, matches another one or not so just to be in the safe side we're just gonna mark all the all these plugs uh, here's some some more zip ties mm -hmm. I'm not taking this tight ones because they actually just uh, wrapping around this uh, protector uh, here is fine for now so our next step will be start to take if you can come look at the back here we're gonna take the ignition out and then you're gonna see one screw on this side and the same one the other side is gonna help us to take this part out and for this Harley to take the ignition out what you need to do I don't know is this gonna stay locked uh, I'm not sure let's uh, see <laughs> is, you put your key in you put it in the fork lock position there is a tab in the bottom here let me point to the screwdriver it's right here you push it after you hold it you, you push it up and turn this and turn, turn the it key. turn the key and turn the key counterclockwise and that will get your ignition out there is a spring here be careful with it you can take it out and put it with the other part but now we have your ignition out but it's locked yeah the fork is locked so I'm not sure what we need to do just keep it in for now yeah all right and that's the way you no, put we're it gonna, we're gonna need to take all these out okay so but the fork is locked and we need to get to that screw on the other side okay how oh. it's not that bad no oh, yeah actually there's a way for it okay. actually it's yeah 22. That's the parts. This one goes first, then this one, and this one is in the bottom. And all of them actually it has like lock positions, so you can't mess it up, guys. It has notches here, it has to match less than Alright, then we're gonna get the two screws. This one is uh, T27. Right, it has a big plug here. See, it has one big plug over here. start to take the, the stereo out so that is a main harness for the stereo I think so we're gonna mark it and by the way guys we forgot to tell you that's we disconnected the positive to the battery just in case we don't want to get into blown fuses and all this stuff. I 
I believe there's two Allen keys here to get the radio, the whole radio out. Let's get just a little bit of time here. Reduce out. And to be honest, we don't really need to mark these because the only place you're gonna see those bunch colors is radio stuff. Audio stuff is always this bunch colors and we already know that we hang in here with one positive, one negative, uh, sorry, ground, positive, and the positive. It looks like the positive is going somewhere else to the back, but for our purpose, we're gonna leave it like that. But if we were taking the inner fairing out and that start to get in our way, we will just mark it here and mark it there and just cut it and we'll reconnect it. It already has like... It, it, yeah, it already has connections, connection. actually. Couple connections. Do you want to go for it now? No, not now. Not now. Or it's actually, see, it's even more ground. <laughs> so, what do you think? Our next step, taking uh, taking more plugs out. Uh, more plugs. Yeah. Now we mark a lot of harnesses here, so we're gonna start to take some both halves and screw it out and see if there are any other harnesses still connected behind that front facing here. So we're gonna take both both sides uh, signal lights off by the T27 and a T30. the same on the other side so we're gonna get it done. So now we don't focus the light out and we just want to get our that front facing out. Okay. So see now we gotta start to take Clutch cable out. Okay, so now we're gonna have to loosen that clutch cable so we can detach it from the liver. So we're gonna hold it from the bottom with 13 millimeter on the bottom. I'm sorry. 12 millimeter in the bottom and 13 millimeter not and we just there's a lock ring what is it called uh, snap ring snap ring yeah. there's tool for it but we don't have it now so we're gonna use this to you just get one side out connect it Hold it. It's out. Then push it. Push it. And the whole thing. Oh, we need to get it loose. Just to show you guys what exactly it was look like. This ring goes here, here. Then this white piece go, that white piece doesn't like me. So the ring goes in the handle, the white piece goes in there. Then this piece 
supposed to be here but this one is broken so I won't count on it that much but I'm gonna try to get it reassemble it all right so that's how it was after you loosen the clutch cable you can pull it out pull it this way through that groove now it's loose you get it out and the white piece you push it then you disconnect the cable now you have disconnected cable okay now let's take the whole fairing out now we're gonna take the kind of fairing out this, you see that metal frame yeah. this metal frame just pull it out then push out okay pull it this way I already did pull your side You pull this way, then forward. Okay, we found more blood. <laughs> and there's a ground wire right here. Alright, guess what guys, we ended up with the positive and negative to the radio. <laughs> Is that the only thing? <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave a piece of black here. Leave a gray here. And I'm gonna mark them. Okay, here we go. Finally got out. Okay guys, now once got the interfering, the old the broken one out, now we're gonna open the new one and we're gonna start to transfer every single part, every single piece from the old one to a new one. And we're gonna do it like, for example, we're gonna Take that gauge off, we're gonna put it on the same place and so on. And also we're gonna try to mark as much as possible all the harnesses. So when we move the wire harnesses from the old one to the new one, we can easily plug them in. So let's crack this one, new one open. That's a glossy one, so it looks much, much better than the matte or not the glossy one. It's great. Okay, so to remove the gauges, it's holding here by even like some nuts or just some screws. So these are here are two eight millimeters. So Before we go back, we're gonna change the pulp as some of them are out. So we got some uh, LEDs, white ones. So we're gonna change. And to change, you just like pull it out, snap in. So I'm gonna get one of these tools and we just gonna in here and try to 
right out like this. Very simple and easy. I already changed this one, so I'm gonna put it back. Again, just push it back in. Now we're gonna transfer one by one so we don't lose track. That the fuel one, again, we're just gonna go from down here to its place. Easy and simple, we're gonna keep going. So the next step is I want to remove the whole metal frame so I can reflect it back so I can get to the two gauges down here and to get access to that screw here I have to get the lighter out. Okay, so to remove the, the lighter, try to hold the middle piece and use my own more flyer. Now the next step there is two screws that holding these to the speaker. Yeah, in your T20. Now we have our access to these gauges down here, so we can go ahead and remove them. And put them in a new fairing. Again, these are also eight millimeters. So now the last thing we need to remove is still attached to the old fairing is uh, I think the function select button. So we'll show you guys how to remove it. it has to be removed from the, from the front. With that rubber piece that we're gonna have to remove it. Then there's like a, a nut. piece to remove from the old fairing and now the old fairing is ready to go to the trash I think. <laughs> right <laughs> and uh, just a quick review here about this when you're about to install it 
when you're about to reinstall that button, you're gonna have to put this ring back inside the rubber and have the rubber hug it from everywhere. Like this. Right? Let's imagine that we gonna have the button going through the fairing like this. After you push it in the hole, you just start to rub it, you just screw it in. Could we unscrew it without taking the rubber off? <laughs> we could. We could, but this one was kind of tight. Okay. And I don't want to actually uh, scratch the rubber. This is it's gonna, it's showing. You don't want any like teeth mark from any pliers. But first, first, first to try, you always try to unscrew it like counter counterclockwise with a plier. If you're gonna see, see, I think actually the previous owner tried to do it. There is some teeth marks here, marks. You see it? Mm -hmm. But I think it's the best way to unscrew it, to take it off, is get that rubber out. And it's not that hard, it's just with a epic a uh, pick screwdriver or whatever that kind, whatever, whatever they call it, this kind. You just get the rubber out and get the nut out. Okay. But mm. to put it back in, put the nut back inside the rubber, to be hugging it. So after you finish it, it's gonna look nice and smooth and symmetrical. Okay, now we're gonna start to put the whole wire simply back to the new fairing. And the last piece from the old fairing, it's this part, these four tabs, you just pull up a little and pull it the other way, like, like away from the, and it snaps. If you can see here, it's just, let me put it back in, I will show you how. You see this two teeth, you pull it, Pour it. it will get. Nothing else I can show you. Don't pull so hard so you don't break it. Just pull. That's it. And you do it for all four of them. See guys? Here it says the top. So that goes on the top. So you don't put it like this way because that's actually the neutral light and what else uh, we have the oil light headlight turn signal you, you, you can tell can you see it in the camera yeah there's a turn signal oil neutral and i think headlight and the other turn signal so the orientation of the lights right here it's gonna affect so but here it's making it easy it says top can you read the top on the camera so the top is the top so now let's get this out so we pulled that trim out and actually it was stick to it so once we pulled the trim out it was all uh, like double face So we pulled the trim out and the piece came with it. So now we're gonna move, put the piece back into the new fairy. Just trying to clean all the adhesive a little bit more. And so when 
when the new piece like this is gonna come in it's gonna fit but he actually he got a new piece so we don't have to use the old one but it's gonna be the same and it's gonna go around it and it's gonna look Porsche. I don't I don't yeah when we install the new one you're gonna see it guys okay now we're gonna put the lights back Now we're just gonna connect all the harnesses back and screw the bracket back in place and the last thing will be need to be done to complete the fairing is we're waiting for the new speakers to come in. So we got the new speaker kit with a bracket to fit our fairing. So let's get it open and put it in. Okay, now we're gonna put the new speaker on with the uh, with adapter. It comes with this uh, Mitra adapter for the 6.5 speakers. Starting with our new grill. That's how we start the way. And for that after, we're gonna have to put three screws. The one, the tuna tab and one in the outer here. So they come with uh, their own screws, so we're gonna use them. They are just uh, some Phillips screws. And I think that will be it guys, we have the new speakers with a grill and the bracket placed on. The only thing left is to put the speaker on the other side, put the lighter back on. I don't think so, it's gonna, it's gonna be like an easy one to do. And then the interfering will be ready to install on the bike, but before we install it, we're gonna have to... the handlebar as you can see it's bent and also in the meanwhile we also will change the the clutch and, and brake levers and also we'll change the um, brake cylinder and we'll have to bleed the brake line uh, and that will be in the next video thank you so much guys for watching and hope that video is enjoyable to you guys as it's enjoyable to us and helpful if any of you guys would like to have a project like this uh, please uh, like subscribe and share and uh, we'll see you next video